Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to discuss how can we use the control panel for the access TO commissioning. In the previous video, I showed how can we download the function block. Inside that function block, we have a different MC motion control instructions. And we download this MC function block into the PLC sim. And in this video, I will go continuously and I will show how can we use this uh, commissioning control panel. Okay, let's click this uh, commissioning and go to the control panel. So as we know, once we build up the machine and assemble all the mechanical and electrical equipment together, so firstly, we need to verify the direction. We need to verify if some speed setting makes sense for this system. We will not crash the mechanical system. We need to initial test our motion system. So using this commissioning this way, access control panel, once we activate this master control, the logic will be bypassed. Your motion control now we are under this axis. So this axis will be fully controlled by this panel only. Your program will be bypassed. So using this way, we can set a slow speed and we can verify the direction and we can verify if the motor can actually drive our load properly or correctly. Okay, so we can click this uh, activate. So it will mention this because once we hit this uh, forward or backward, it will actually drive the load. Okay, keep in mind this very carefully about this. And meantime, if your system has an e-stop or safety control, probably you should hold that e-stop in case your system doing some wrong job. Okay, hit a yes. Now this control panel is taking over this access. Your logic for this access is not working. And now if your system is available to run or free run or do a slow speed run, we can set a very slow speed for initial test. For example, we can set 90 per second. Okay, and we can set a speed here and enable the access. If this access is connecting one actual server drive, after this enable, you will hear that motion drive will be energized. And then we can select this speed side point. Then the speed will follow this side point. And once we click this forward, our access will start to run. For example, click this forward. So we will see the system will start to run based on our setting. Click stop. And using this way, we can firstly verify if the forward or backward match our direction. If it doesn't match, we can go to the configuration, go to the TO setting and find out the mechanics. And we can check this invert rotary direction of the drive or we can invert the encoder direction. Okay. After this direction verification, so we can verify our actual distance if the system can run correctly. So to verify the distance, firstly, we need to home our access. Probably we can jog using the speed control or jog control, manually move this access to our home. We define one home position. And after we reach this home position, we can select set home position. And then we can set this current position to home. This home could be zero or some value, the initial value. So let's assume the current position actually it should be the 10. So once we hit this start, so it will set this home position. Now we set a 10 degree. It will set a 10 degree directly to this axis. And after this home position, basically our encoder, whatever we are using the absolute or using the incremental encoder, our axis will know logically this current position is a 10. And after this, we can start to verify if our positioning can control properly. Basically, we need to verify our gear ratio setting or the gear mechanical relationship. Basically, we need to verify in our configuration. If we quickly recall, we need to verify this setting. Like now, we are setting as a rotary. And now the motor is a 10 revolution and our load will run one revolution. And keep in mind, the speed, it represents the encoder. And because this encoder, now we select the encoder is on the shaft. So that represents the speed of the motor. And the velocity, that represents our load. 
And keep in mind, in this setting, our load, our unit is a degree per second. But the speed of the motor, that is uh, the degree per minute. Keep in mind, this different. Here, for the load, we can select this minute. But I especially want to show this difference. Let's go online and test. We will see the different value showing from the velocity and the speed. OK. And now let's activate this uh, axis. And in the actual case, you need to select this uh, positioning relative. So we can run a very short distance, for example, just to spin one circle. So basically, if you spin one circle, if the mechanical or your TO configuration setting has something wrong, you can clearly see what the offside from our actual spin. Okay, the speed is 90 and the distance we run one circle. Once we hit this enable and hit this forward, it will forward run one circle, 360. So because our home position, we start from 10. Now the position is 370, okay? If you are controlling one actual server drive, you need to verify your load actually run one entire resolution. And if you found something wrong, basically you need to verify some setting within this uh, mechanics here. So basically using this uh, control panel, we need to verify the forward and backward direction. We need to verify the actual speed if the speed setting makes sense for this machine. Also, we need to verify the home position and uh, the positioning, the mechanical relationship between our setting and our actual load travel distance. Okay, after those verification, and we can close this control panel, and then we can shift to our program, and we can use our program, especially we can home the access at first, and use the jog to move forward and backward to our access to verify if our program can control our access. And now if I use this uh, watch table, if I hit this online, and firstly, let's recite the fault. So, and then, and then let's power on this access. Keep in mind, our power need to be leave at on this signal. And then let's trigger this home, set the current position to home position. For example, now its value is a 370. We assume the current position will at zero. So we need to home this access, for example, set. Then we will see this positioning value inside this access has been changed to zero. And let's manually jog forward, turn on. So you can see this axis is moving. If I turn off this uh, command, jog forward, now the speed will go zero. The actual mechanical or actual axis will stop at the current position. If I turn on this jog backward, we need to hold it's on. If I turn this off, so the access will stop. Here, I would like to explain this velocity and speed we talked a little bit before. So when we jog this access, we will see the velocity it shows 99.9, .9, basically it's 100 degree per second. And this speed, the behind this speed, that is a degree per minute. And based on the setting in our access, and this are 10 revolutions from this motor, and we will get one revolution from this load. So this velocity represent 99.99, .99, that's 100 degree per second, that equal to 16.66 degree per minute. And because this ratio is a 10 over one, so that means from the motor side, from this encoder, the actual speed that is 166, 0.6 degree per minute. This speed has a 10 times comparing with this 16. So that is 10 times here. This is the velocity and the speed. Take care about this. All right, let's temporarily park here. In next video, I will explain in detail how we can use this watch table 
to trigger the move relative and move absolute position control. Also, we will discuss the linear control. The current setting in the TO, the technology object, we are using the rotary. And in the next video, based on this uh, rotary, I will also explain once we set up to a linear axis, so how this position will be changed, how it will be action, how it will show. All right, see you in next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.